Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today we will learn about Automation Anywhere Discovery Bot. So let's get started by understanding Discovery Bot. Discovery Bots are used to identify automation opportunities from business processes, prioritize opportunities based on ROI, create bots automatically and to capture document processes. So let's take a look how Discovery Bot works. Now the first step in this process is process analyst creates a discovery bot process. Now once the discovery bot process is created, business user records the business process and once the recording is done, then the business user reviews and submits the recording. Now once the recording of the business process is submitted, then the process analyst analyzes the process of automation and creates opportunity. And at the end, the RPA manager evaluates the opportunity and converts it into an RPA bot. So let's work with discovery bot in automation anywhere to understand this better. So here I am inside the control room of automation anywhere A2019. To work on the discovery bot, let's move to discovery bot processes. And here we will proceed with our first step where the process analyst wants to create a discovery bot process. Now before creating this discovery bot process, let's first try to understand why this process analyst wants to create this discovery bot process. So let's say that in the company, there is a business process to create the Google account, which is done, this business process is done in a very repetitive manner and it takes a lot of manual time and effort. So the process analyst would like to identify automation opportunities for this business process. That's why this process analyst wants to create a discovery bot process. So let's proceed to create the one. So for that, we'll click on create process. Let's provide the process name. Create Google account. And let's hit on create process. Now, if you are working on the enterprise edition, you will get one more option. Let me show you. So under edit process details, under this edit process, you will get an option to invite users for recording. You will get the option something like this. You can invite the users from here. The users will receive the email to perform the recording. So the users will log into the automation anywhere with their ID and perform the recording and submit the recording. But in my case, since I'm working in the community edition, I do not have this option. So I'm going to perform the recording with my ID. So let's proceed with our next step where the business user records the business process and reviews and submits the recording. So let's move to the processes. And here, this is the process which we created, create Google account. We can start the recording from here. So let me close this one. I'm going to perform the recording by click on create an account and provide all the details to create the Google account. So I'll click on start recording. So let's hit yes, continue. And here you see we get this discovery bot recorder. The recording has been started. So whatever activities I will perform now, all the activities will be recorded. So to do the recording mouse over on the object which you want to record. So I want to click on this create an account. So mouse over and you see that this has been surrounded by the red box. So this has been captured. So let's click on that. And here I will provide all the details. So this first name text box has been captured under this red box. So I can provide the value here. So let's provide the first name as John. Then let's move to the last name. This has also been captured. Let's provide the last name here. And now I'll provide the username for the Gmail account. So this has already been identified, but I want to provide my uh, username. So I'm going to remove this one. So I'm going to remove this one, control A and delete, and I'm going to provide uh, my username. So I'm going to provide John Smith 66124. 
this will be the username next I will provide the password so capture this password it has been captured let's provide the password here and let's provide the confirm password here so first of all we'll have to capture this one this has been captured under the red box so all the details has been provided let's hit next so first let's capture this next it has been captured so hit next now and our recording has been done this was the process which we wanted to record let's stop the recording now so here we have two options in case you want to pause the recording you can go with this option and for to stop the recording let's go with this option to stop the recording and let's move back to automation anywhere so the recording has been done we are done with the second step where the business user records the business process now moving to the third step where the business user reviews and submits the recording so the recording which has been done by the business user the business user has to review and submit that so let's see how we can do the same so for that click on this option and select this edit my recording so here in the left side we get this recording table with ID status process cycle and recorder so as of now the status here is pending because we have not submitted the recording and this is the process cycle the time it which it took to perform the recording and the recorder ID which is my ID here and in the right side all the steps has been displayed along with the screenshot so we'll have to confirm whether the captured recording is correct or not or modify wherever required so let's go step by step first of all we clicked on create an account which is correct so we can provide a step description here so let's provide a step description as create click on click on create an account then the next step is to provide the first name so the data I wanted to provide is John and let's provide the step description enter first name then the next step is to provide the last name which I provided Smith let's provide the description here enter last name the next step was to provide the username so first of all we deleted the populated username by control A and delete and then we provided the username required and we'll, let's provide the step description enter username then the next step was to provide the password let's provide any random password here and let's provide the description as enter password then we'll have to confirm the password so let's provide again a random password and provide the step description as confirm password and the last step was to click on the next button so let's provide the description as click next button so the recording has been done properly and we have modified wherever required everything looks good we can submit the recording now so let's hit on submit button and here you see the status has been changed to approved so as of now we have only single row in this recording table because we have done only single recording so you can do here multiple recordings according to the requirement and all the entries will be available here and with this we completed the third step as well to review and submit the recording so the job of business user is done the business user has done the recording and then it reviewed and submitted the recording now the job of process analyst again starts the process analyst will log in with his or her ID to analyze the process of automation and create opportunity so I'll continue with my ID only so for this step let's move back to process and let's open the recording now here to analyze the process of automation the process analyst takes the information from dashboard aggregated and comparison tab let's look into each of them one by one first let's get started with the dashboard tab where several information is provided 
first one is the participants which displays the total number of users that have submitted the recordings for the process now in this case since only i have submitted the recording so the participant is displayed as one then comes the process cycle which displays the average duration of the recordings provided for the process then comes the rpa opportunity applications involved and the bot involved now moving ahead there is a donut chart which displays the applications usage now since i have used the chrome application so it displays the chrome in the application usage now moving ahead there is a process cycle by recorder graph which displays the time associated in minutes for the average process cycle grouped by the users next comes this recording comparison graph which displays the recording id on the x axis and process cycle in minutes on the y axis now the recording id if you notice here this is the recording id which with the which we have recorded so if you see this is the recording table which we had seen during the uh, review and the submitting of the recording so if i close this views table so here is the recording table which is the exactly similar recording table which we had seen earlier during the approval of the recording so here the id is 189 that's why in the recording comparison table it displays the id as 189 as we have checked this recording so this was all the information that was present in the dashboard tab moving to the aggregated tab now in this tab you will get the detailed steps of the recording which you have selected here so as of now i have only one recording here so this one recording i have selected that's why the steps of the recording id 189 has been displayed here now if you uncheck this box the recording will be removed so let's check this one again and let's see what all details are present so there is a snapshot view as well so here you see in the preview if you open this one and if you select this uh, task so here you can see this is the step which we captured that is click on create an account then provide the first name provide last name then provide the user id then provide the password and then provide the confirm password and at the end click on this next button so all the recording steps has been displayed here now if you have multiple of recordings present here and if you check more than one recording this aggregated tab also has the feature to combine all the recordings according to the requirement so if you have multiple recordings here and if you want to add the steps from multiple recordings in your workflow you can check those recordings and the aggregated tab is going to combine them later on you can check the steps whichever are required for your business process automation so as of now for this recording id that is 189 all the steps are required so i have checked all these steps in this workflow now after analyzing the process of automation the process analyst also has the work to create the opportunity so opportunity is also created from this aggregated tab so if you move a bit ahead so here you see in the in this section we have the option to provide the opportunity name and other details so let's provide the opportunity name here opportunity create google account next we can also provide here the average cost estimates and potential savings so the process analyst is also going to analyze the cost estimate and potential savings as a part of this process so let's provide the details here cost estimate let's provide some value and the potential savings as well and you see now this create opportunity button is enabled we can create the opportunity now so let's hit on create and the opportunity has been created we can click on view opportunity to view that and here you see we are in the opportunities tab now so we are done with this step as well the process analyst analyzed the process of automation and created the opportunity the now now the last step is for the rpa manager which evaluates the opportunity and converts to rpa bot so this is the task of rpa manager 
Again, this opportunity tab provides the recording table, this dashboard information and the aggregated tab with all the steps in detail. The RPX manager can select the steps required for automation. I'm going to select all the steps required and we, we can click on convert to bot to convert this one to a RPA bot. So let's hit on convert to bot and this will be the name of the bot create Google account and let's hit browse to select a folder so I'm going to select this bots folder and let's click on convert so we will get the bot here so if I move to bots my bots and if I search for create Google account here so here is the bot which got created so you see the bot has been created successfully it clicks on create an account then it enters the first name then it enters the last name then it provides the username it provides the username here and here the password is required so the since this is an password here we'll have to provide so as of now let's provide any random then let's provide the similar value inside confirm password and at the end the bot is going to click on the next button now you can modify this bot as well according to the requirement I'm going to add the action here as browser open browser in the beginning where I'm going to launch this one so let me select the browser as Chrome and here I'll provide the link to open as this one let's hit save so here you see the discovery bot creates the bots automatically which is going to save a lot of manual time and effort so I'm going to run this bot one time to see how it works let me close these tabs and let's hit run and my bot is running now first of all it will launch the URL in the Chrome browser then click on create an account then it will provide all the details here and hit next so our bot is working fine let me move back to automation anywhere this bot was created automatically also I wanted to show you what all created automatically let's move to discovery bot opportunities this is the opportunity which we created here you see we have the option to download the PDD as well so this process also created the PDD automatically we have the option to download the PDD from here or if you open this one there is the option to download the PDD from here as well so we converted the process to bot we converted the opportunity to bot now we can download the PDD as well has been a downloaded let me open this one so this is the PDD which got generated automatically with all these details opportunity name ID number document name process name description all these details priority as medium then the dashboard information which we had all the dashboard information is also present then the steps with steps of the recording with all the screenshot has also been captured in this PDD so in this way you can work with discovery bots in the automation anywhere this is going to help you a lot in your business process automation and that's all for this session guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel as well and I'll see you soon in the next one bye bye